First tonight, three deadly tragedies involving children. We start with a heartbreaking case out of town and country tonight where three-year-old Cody Noble was hit and killed early this morning. It happened on Sheldon Road after the boy unlocked the door to his apartment, wandered down three flights of stairs and into the road. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay, Shannon Clo is at the Valencia at West Chase Apartments where the family moved just this week. Now, Shannon, some people tell us tonight they believe the complex should have done more to provide safety. Well, Wednesday was the family's first night here, and I'm told three-year-old Cody snuck out of their apartment, then out of the complex through an open gate because that gate is broken. People living here say more could have been done by staff to protect Cody. He loved me to the moon and back, and I loved him. He was the sweetest little boy. Cody Noble was special to his mom. He was a twin diagnosed with autism. People feel like, oh, it's going to hinder them or hold them back, but I had such high hopes for this boy. At just three years old, Cody's hopes and dreams were tragically taken from this family early Thursday morning when Cody was hit and killed. <laughs> I wanted to see my baby boy this morning and I didn't even get to hug him goodbye. Cody managed to leave in the early morning hours when everyone was still asleep. Investigators say he wandered out of the apartment and onto Sheldon Road where he was hit and killed. Having a gated community is really important for safety for me because of that reason. The gate here at Valencia West Chase Apartments isn't working and is open. We were told that upon move in that it's gated community. About a month later and the gate still isn't working. A spokesman for Ventera Realty, the company who manages this property tells me on site teams are gathering bids for contractors to fix the gate. Others living here say it's been broken for a while. They're always open. They do not close. A former Hillsborough County judge tells me as far as liability, it's possible but not certain the complex could be held accountable. This potentially could have been prevented if that wasn't wide open. Cody's parents hope the gate will be fixed for other safety, but tonight they mourn the unimaginable loss of their baby boy. I know Cody wouldn't want us to just all fall apart and not live. I have to still live for him. Like so many of us, my heart is with the family tonight and the management company for this complex couldn't give me a timeline on when the gate is going to be fixed, but told me there is a project in place. In Hillsborough County, Shannon Clo, 10 Tampa Bay. As for the driver who hit and killed Cody, investigators say they stayed on scene and did what they had to. At this time, no one is facing any criminal charges.